biggest hurdle to an undefeated season in the win over Stanford, but they did lose a guy. Standout lineman, team captain Alex Barr is gone for the season, an injury Brian Kelly called devastating. And now the Irish visit Virginia Tech, who has bounced back. Maybe not to the point level of week one, but we'll see. Notre Dame scored 24 of the final 27 in that route of Stanford. Ian Book tossing four touchdowns in his second start. Big boost from Dexter Williams back from suspension, going for 161. Look at the speed. Fresh the Hokies. Nice. Rebounded from the loss to ODU or ODU behind Kansas transfer Ryan Willis. A career high three passing touchdowns against Duke in his first start for the injured Josh Jackson. But Notre Dame is a major step up in competition. The most complete and talented team certainly we've played to date. Um, really have things clicking in all areas of the game. Uh, they made a change at quarterback and the last two weeks of They've been very explosive, averaging about 47 points a game, I think. And defensively, through the entire year, they've played elite defense, giving up less than 20 points a game. So it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Yeah, it sounds like Coach Fuente didn't sleep. <laughs> it sounds like he's been He must have seen the worried. last two Notre Dame games. That's right. what I'm saying. Yeah. Sounds like he's exactly. worried. Uh, Sportsline, of course, watches everything or, or ingests it. I'm not really sure how Sportsline processes it all, but has Notre Dame winning 24-22, a little lower oh. scoring than, than maybe you would think. Wow. Yeah, that, that's Dame's interesting. Uh, your, your favorite defensive coordinator, uh, Bud Foster, last week, he employed <laughs> this, this coverage where he dropped eight. Ding. And only had, exactly, <laughs> only only three rushers. And the D-line, they accounted for all the sacks and all the tackle for losses. But you're going up against a better offensive line, even though they're going to miss one of their, their members there uh, versus Notre Dame. And there's more symmetry on this Notre Dame offense. And as we've all talked about uh, during the show, and I like Notre Dame in this ball game. I mean, they're rushing the ball. 272 last week. It's been over 200 the last three weeks. And, of course, Book at quarterback, uh, over 300, you know, almost 300 uh, in this last ball mm -hmm. game. So I like Notre Dame. All right. You're, you're talking about one of the hottest passing teams, offensive teams in the country in Notre Dame since Ian Book has, t has taken over over 300 yards a game. Great, because Virginia Tech is the worst pass defense in the ACC. They're averaging 304 yards against them a game. Notre Dame wins this, and they win it by more than a field goal. Mm. No, their own worst enemy here down the stretch. I think Virginia Tech will play hard, but Notre Dame's got to make sure that they handle any complacency as they're sitting there now being patted on the back on campus talking about playoffs. We saw that act a year ago when they went to Miami. This is going to be a similar raucous right. environment. They're going to have to handle that noise. I think this is a fourth quarter game, but Notre Dame has the pieces to get this victory. Okay. Lane Stadium mm. at night, right? A little, 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 meta little yep. metallic. Enter Sandman. Yep. Watch out. Get a little cold. 